In this video, we're going to have a look at how we construct a frequency histogram and polygon for grouped data sets. And it's a very similar approach to what we did last time, except the only difference this time is that we've got grouped data, which has a slight difference down on our horizontal axis. So again, the frequency histogram is a type of column graph with no gaps in between. Our horizontal axis this time represents what we call our class centers because we've got groups or classes. And our vertical axis still represents our frequency for each class this time. So let's have a look at an example. So instead of scores here, we have classes from 10 to 14, 15 to 19, etc. Each class is the same size that they should be. And each class represents five different scores. So I know that looks like four different scores, but the score of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is five different scores. And I know that because these numbers are going up by fives, and so are these. So that's just a little hint. Now our class center is, as it suggests, the center of each class, or the middle of each class. So we need to work out how we find the middle of two numbers. And to do that, we halve the total. So total means we add them together, and then we're going to halve them. So take out 10 and 14 for this class. We get 24, half of that is 12. And so our class center here will be 12. And we do that for each one. So our next class is from 15 to 19. So 15 plus 19 is 34. Half of 34 is 17 and we put that in there for our class center. Do that for the next class. 20 plus 24 is 44, half that's 22. Okay, or remember we can use our fraction template on our calculator, add the scores in the numerator over two and that's doing exactly the same thing. It is important that you do find the total of this first before you halve it, okay? And if you're also doing it on the calculator, not in um, fraction template, form then you need to make sure you put brackets around the 20 plus 24 before halving it or pressing equals before halving it. So now we put our 22 in our class center that we've worked that out and you will notice something. These were going up by fives as I said before and so are these and what happens to our class centers? They're also going up by fives so we can quickly complete that by following the pattern. So now that we've completed that, we're going to construct our frequency histogram. So we need a horizontal axis and a vertical axis in very much the same manner we did before, except our horizontal axis is our class center, which is our 12, 17, 22 that we found over here. And our highest frequency is 11. So again, we only need to go up to 11. And because I've shown you how to do these before, then I'll go through this fairly quickly. Our class center of 12 has a frequency of 5, so 12 has a frequency of 5, 17 has a frequency of 8, and we continue that and we end up with our columns. Remember they're centered over the top, and we've got this extra one here which is going to help us with our polygon later, and also we've got this half column with the gap here. So just remember all of that from what we did last time. So there's our frequency histogram. Let's go and have a look at now our frequency polygon. Remember, it's a type of line graph. So we've got again our horizontal axis is our class centers and our vertical axis is um, our frequency for each of the classes. So we've already put our table there together, completed that class centers, set up our axes the way we did before. Again, remembering class centers along here um, our frequency goes up to 11, so that hasn't changed from before. So choosing an appropriate scale up the side there. And place our dots above each of the class centers for the frequency and join them up. But don't forget, our first one has to come down to the beginning and our last one comes down as if that we had that next score because a polygon is going to be closed with the horizontal axis. So what we've got there is our frequency polygon and sometimes the polygon and the histogram are done together and that's what it looks like when they're both done together. So the histogram is the column, the column graph and the polygon is the line graph. 
So I hope you found that useful. And what you need to now do is do some practice to make sure that you get better at it because the more you practice, the easier it's going to become.